Big old bear. It is good to know, too, that the rustling is from the wildlife as well. <laughs> oh my Recently, musician Scott and his girlfriend, special reporter Helga, were found dead with their dog in the shade of a large tree in Ross Lake. Reports have said that an infection was the cause of death, but the amount of blood found at the scene has led others to propose blood loss from injury. With authorities and medical staff butting heads, the investigation has reached a dead end. Okay, we're in. So, just so you guys know, this thing has literally just dropped like 30 seconds ago and I wanted to get straight in. It feels like I've been waiting for a new park for a lifetime. Well, I guess it feels like we all have, right? <laughs> if you guys enjoy this just as much as I do, then I guess we share that pain. We got that new park smell. Night number one. Is there anything like kind of new around here that we're... We're supposed to be reading or anything you guys know me i love reading up the lore or oh okay so that still happens that's still a thing the rustling bushes and things like that all right let's just grab everything so this one isn't really going to be the usual format that we have been doing the seven night stay this is going to be a kind of first impressions look at everything i'm sure things are going to be a little bit rough around the edges with it just releasing like right now no doubt we're going to run into some issues or some bugs or anything like that. I mean, I hope we don't, but I really do expect it. All right, the drone battery I'm not going to take. What else we got? I mean, I should just grab a weapon and dip, right? Just have a look around. Let's grab this. All the ammunition, health packs, the pistol. What is that? Oh, it's just a plant. <laughs> I thought it was some special, like, weapon or something. I still love the fact that we've got, like, the VHS player here. I wish you could find videos that other people had recorded, you know, and put them in there and... And watch what their last moments were. I know that's really creepy, but I think that's like a, a cool little touch. Puts you closer to the victims that we're looking for. Who was it? Scott and uh, Helga, I believe the names were. All right, reload up. So off the brief glance that I did take a look at with the changes, I know there was like a, a capacity change for the ammunition and stuff, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. I know I'm not going to, but I'm trying to remind myself by saying it to you guys. It's generally what happens. All right, so map. Ooh, all right, so we're starting all the way kind of in the east area. All right, let's go south then. Let's see what's down there. We'll follow the road down. And we'll just, we'll take as much of this in as possible. Again, this isn't going to be the usual format of the seven night stay. I'm not trying to take the beast out within that time limit. We're just going to gonna soak all this in oh <laughs> look at this start uh, that thin layer of mist just creeping across the top of us don't know where this very famous cryptid is but i'm sure it's watching us from somewhere all right we've got one of those there zip line leading up any clues to anyone being here scott was a musician right so if we see like a guitar or something. Let's have a quick look up here. Can we get up there? Wait, is that not going to let us do that? There we go. I thought we could jump on that halfway through, like down the line. Does it, is it going to be at the start now? I really didn't notice that before. before. Archery area. Some more traps. Grab hold of these. Any notes or anything? No! No, don't you dare. Nothing over there. I'm looking for buildings and things like that. I'm not seeing anything. It's not veer too much from the path. Don't mind telling you guys, I'm a little bit jumpy right now. Devil's Creek Falls, Old Hunting Tower, and Devil's Creek Ranger Station. All right, let's go this way then. Let's see what's down at the ranger station. I mean, there can only be good things, like a minigun or a, a, an RPG or something, right? <laughs> it's going to be something like that. All ranger stations have that. Everybody knows it. I am hoping for a safe or something, though. That could be nice. I really get the feeling that I'm being followed, though. Usually when I have that, 
I'll say it. Nothing will happen. And then 10 seconds later, I'll hear the... Oh, my... No way. No way did that just happen. There's no way. Please shut up. Oh, my God. It's so loud. Please stop. You gonna stop? Oh, thank you. Hey, what we got? GPS. We got that ready to go? Yeah, we do. Okay. I'll keep that on me just in case it attacks here. Got a box up there, which we can't open. All right, let's have a look at this business then. So we do have a safe. That is a blue key code, which... Not seeing anything left on the floor. This looks new. I don't remember there being... Was there a, like a... Oh. <laughs> was there like a computer before? Turn the lights off. Nothing left on the shelves. Oh. Nothing in this. Yeah, we got a safe there then. Okay, so where are we right now? Let's have a look. So we're down here. And if we find anything with a blue key code, it's for that one there. Got it. Okay, easy does it. <laughs> oh, wait a second. This is like Yellowstone. It's got like... A oh, no, wait. We can't get across. Yeah, it's just, just like a dock or something. How creepy would that be? Now, I need to stop doing that too. Like, I mean, you guys all just saw what happened. I half predicted <laughs> some scary shit would happen right on cue as well. All right, so we've pretty much checked this area out. I guess we follow this road all the way down to the left and, and loop it back round. All the meat is probably going to be in the center, but I generally like going around the perimeter first. If you are wondering, like, my tactics, I know I know it looks all over the place, but there is a method to the madness, I promise. Usually what I tend to do is start off on the outside in one big, like, kind of spiral and rotate towards the center if I can. Trying to collect as much as possible in terms of ammunition and any firepower and stuff. What would be amazing is if we could climb up these. Might be a bit cheesy, though, being able to hide from the creature, unless it could just beat that thing down and... And a, like, battlefield evolution, you know? <laughs> the Bigfoot just starts breaking shit. That could be really cool, though. Road closed. Park entrance. Oh, look at this. Just chaos. Can we go in there? Okay, the one thing that I will say is... It might look like my vision's getting kind of blurry to you guys. <laughs> I'm really trying to not break the immersion, but... <laughs> yeah, some areas... Oh, there we go! 5035. Okay, we can go back and get that then. All right, what does this say? At six near the waterfall, Helga. I did see that there too. Maybe that's a hint. So, at six near the waterfall. I'm guessing Scott was uh, called over there. <laughs> Don't ask why I look in there. You never know. Five, what is it? 5035? 5036? I'll go back and check that. Let's close you up. I'm going to switch to this just in case. Ooh, that's new. Or at least I don't remember seeing it. I'm checking these two. Empty. At this point, I'm really looking for any new items or anything that we can use that I might have missed in any notes or anything, but I'm not too... Oh, my God, no. Okay. Quickly look around and then get out. Ammunition. Flare. Sausages. Oh, shut up. God, I hate that thing. Right, what was the code again? That wasn't it. It was 5035. All right, let's see what we get in there. I'm guessing that's going to be the dynamite, though, right? Okay, 5035. There we go. We got the dynamite. Where is it? Which one's it on? This one here. Okay, no, we'll stay on this one for now. Okay, we got it. That's the main thing. I've just realized as well. We've not heard the creature yet. <laughs> Why haven't we heard it yet? Okay, so if we go back that way, yeah, we can kind of loop around. All right, let's stick to what we were doing. I'm going to go back up this road, then we're going to do a right where the uh, the road close sign was and see what else we can find. That is really weird, though, the fact that it's not, it's not made a noise. Maybe this place is just a lot bigger than I think it is, and we can't actually hear it. No, there's no way. Oh, 
What the hell am I hearing? What is that? I'm hearing like thumping sounds. Almost as if it sounds like the, the creature is hunting me. Then I stop and then there's nothing. Why were you still growling? <laughs> oh, okay, that got the heart going a little bit. <laughs> I thought there was a new mechanic where I would have just injured it or something. All right, let's leave that there. Oh, hello. Heart shot. Oh, look at that. We nailed it. We were a hunter in a former life. And it's paying off. I heard you, Fox. Oh, okay. Oh, that made me... There we go. So you are around here, big guy. Good to know. I guess I should probably put... I'm going to put a trap light here. I only picked up two of them. Whoa. Has that trap changed? Let's put some meat down on that. See if we can bring him in. I'm glad we heard him, though, because I was getting a little bit worried for a second there. I mean, <laughs> if you were in this situation, that's kind of best case scenario, right? <laughs> Not hearing it. But I do want to see when he comes in if anything's changed with him, like if he behaves differently and stuff. I love that type of thing. All right, we've got a battery there. We can use that. An axe, too. Please, none of those stupid phones. The thing is, I can't answer them either. Like, I can't stop the ringing sound. So it either masks the creature or just makes my ears bleed. Has the creature been trying to play piano? Right, let's see where we are then. So we're here now. So we kind of cut across there. All right, let's keep going right across then. If we keep going this way, where's that going to take us? Yeah, we should go right across this way and then... Just kind of stay to the west side. So far, so good, though. Oh, shit. Spoke way too soon. Yep. Oh, my God! Okay, hold on, hold on. Is he gonna get pissed? Can I get the picture from here? Did that not get it? Oh, please don't step in that. Right, let's put that like there. And then we'll switch back to the camera again. There we go. All right, we're okay. We don't have any, I really thought I picked up more. Okay, right, keep this out just in case. Big bear cave. So wait a minute, this isn't this isn't the Bigfoot's spot. This is just the big bear's cave. Or did the Bigfoot decide it was his place now, you know? <laughs> oh. Look at my flashlight. You see that? Oh, I heard a thud there. It's there. It is. It's here. Maybe if we... It's waiting for me right... It's there. It's, it's either on the left or the right. Can you guys hear that? It's like it's sneaking. Look at the flashlight. <gasps> there we go. Oh, we got him. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Run away. Oh, run away, please. Yes. Okay. Right, we got you, bitch. Okay, grab this. I kind of want to go in there, but... I think staying in here is a, bit, a really bad move. I don't think there's anything to find. Yeah, no, Bigfoot definitely took this as his own. Water's a really weird color, too. Did it break that? Nope. Can take that again. Is that Helga? Oh, Helga, I'm so sorry. Okay, what we got? Helga, I found an amazing tower near the lake. Toby really enjoyed walking here. You need to come see it with us. Definitely, but I'm in a cave right now. It's interesting so far, but I still haven't seen Bigfoot's tracks. I thought I heard some rustling, but I think it was just my imagination. Maybe you should rest. Let me come for you. We can relax. No, I want to work. Oh! Oh! No!
Okay, what? I feel like something's changed with the way it sneaks up. We're down to one. I'm going to come back to that and read it another time. <laughs> it's following the track where I've got to go to. Look at that. Let's get back on the road. It's probably going to disappear pretty soon too. So let's keep looking. Oh shit, he's coming back. Okay, what about if we do this? If I stay quiet... Oh, there he is. I don't know if you guys can see him right now. Look at his eyes. <laughs> he does. He sees me, guys. Oh! Get out of here, big guy. There you go. There you go. That tracker is definitely lasting a lot longer, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that first kind of interaction that we had is... Did you just stop? That first interaction that we had where it kind of came out of nowhere, that scared the bejesus out of me as well. I could not hear anything. And I don't know why. Or at least it sounded like there was audio missing. Almost like I should be hearing the, the stomps of the creature, but they, there was just nothing. All right, we got to switch that out. What else we got here? Let's switch to the axe. Actually, no, let's put the signal flare on. Car battery can go there. We got another sensor. We got a trap too. Okay, we're looking all right. We're looking all right. Thunder Point Campground. What is that? Limpans? Is that like a, a, a cooker or something? Got a guitar here too. Some gas. Some more ammunition. Wait, are we... St oh, you fuck I knew it! Oh, you... St That thing comes in without warning now. Oh, that's so much more terrifying. I do like that, but <laughs> that is, that's actually horrible now. Unless I've got something wrong with my art. I mean, I'm putting it down to that. I've been... That's still close. Helga, I'll be waiting for you at Colonial Creek with Toby, 6 p.m. Scout Humphrey. Is that supposed to be Scott, or is that actually Scout? Yeah, because we've seen Toby was another name, so maybe it, it's somebody new. Other members? Oh, look at that. Bloody hand on the sleeping bag. Yeah, I'm really not getting anything when that guy's coming in. And as much as I hate it right now, I know that's going to be such a crazy cool change. Like... <laughs> just going around hunting this thing, thinking you have the upper hand, and then it just appears out of no- Hey. Just like that. I had no idea that thing was there. Just going for like a little stroll across this area too. Right, let's grab this. We can stun him with it. We'll drop it on the floor. I can switch to that. Yeah, we're good. Okay, it doesn't drop it. So what would be here then? Is it just the zip line? Let's take a look. Okay, so... We've got ourselves another tower. Some broken fences. I know I've mentioned this before, but... Just in case you are new, I do know about the, uh, the UFO Easter egg. We did it a while ago. I'm wondering if there's going to be something else with this one here. Let's see what else we got. Any more supplies? There was an axe there. We don't need that. We've already got one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got a green safe there. The reason why I'm looking at the floor as well, there used to be like a, <laughs> a code that was tucked into the carpet. I don't know if that's the case anymore, but it's always worth checking. What's this? Camping on Ross Lake. Campsites are equipped with fire rings, picnic tables, and vault toilets. 
What in the hell is a vault toilet? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. What is that? Can we do anything with this? Ooh. Oh, we hit the trap. He hit the trap that we put down, like the first one. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that yet. We're going to wait. Let's see where this is taking us. I kind of want to go back round. Yeah, let's... I suppose we can go straight down and then left. Switch to the uh, the battery, though, just in case. Ooh, okay. Got ourselves a new area. A little bit of daylight left, too. Oh, are these going to be vault toilets? I, I guess that's what they're supposed to be. I always known them as porta potties, though, unless that's not what it is. I don't know why I'm so caught up on that, by the way. <laughs> little things like that, they tend to bug me if I don't know what they are, so <laughs> I need to understand it a little bit better. Right, open up. Give me all your goodies. Actually, let me close that real quick. Just in case that big guy comes in. Oh, we're getting all the health. Okay, let's, let's quickly use one of these. I wasn't really going to bother too much, but we may as well use what we got. Can't do anything with this. Blue screen of death. Nothing in there. Can we turn Patterson Gimlin footage? Anything good? Night vision. I don't know why I just picked that up. Didn't want it. With a health kit. That's good. That's some extra ammo. Okay, so we are right on that corner so fast. That sounded pretty far away. Let's move. Listen to that echo, though. God, they nailed that sound. I mean, we're no stranger to, to hunting cryptids or even anything crazy at this point. Oh, Are you able to knock that down? Yeah, I know I was joking before with, like, the whole evolution thing. But, or I guess, the destruction. But how cool would that be? If that could be a thing. But yeah, I was saying, we're, we're no real stranger to this type of stuff. But the sound that creature makes. I think that is the best creature sound I've heard in these type of games. And we've heard a lot. <laughs> some of them not so good, but some of them really good too. Alright, got another bag. Nothing in there. Nothing on the table. All right, our first big zip line. Is that just going to take us straight across? Big open stretch of water there, but nothing too much to write home about. So where's that left us then? Right on the outside. Okay, we're just going to continue going then. I guess we're going to come up to the, uh, to, the, to the maze. I can't get my words out right now because I'm still hearing that like weird thumping sound the best way for me to describe it is if we stand still it's not those trees it legit sounds like the <laughs> bigfoot like running but it's not it could be my character like a delayed audio thing that was happening a while back but then i'm not hearing it all the time <laughs> i get so hung up on it okay Turned upside down boat. Vision's gone a little bit blurry here. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Vision's gone really blurry here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just breathe. I know the shock of it all might. Might be sending us a little bit crazy right now. Nothing in there. I'm not picking that thing up either. But little scenes like this. Like with just complete chaos. Even the upside down boat. Like somebody's been camping here. I love stuff like this. Said it a million and one times, but it really does paint a picture. It was a long way, too. Oh, you come across different stuff like that. Let's keep it moving. All right, we got a split in the road. Which way are we going here? Wait. What? That split should be further down. So this isn't mapped on the maps, then. Oh, okay. Is this like... Oh, this is a hidden cave. So this isn't showing. going in. You guys are coming with me. I'm not doing this on my own. Actually, let's see. Let's grab that. Oh, can I hear that thing outside? I knew it! I heard something. 
Yeah, you legit can't hear that thing coming in now. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Switch. Come on, give me some more flares. They're yeah, the only real deterrent that I've got right now. And the biggest kind of skill that you had against this guy before was listening. You could hear him coming from quite far away, which made things a lot easier, I guess. I mean, the fight was always quite tricky, but... Hearing where he's coming from gave you that split second adjustment to make to just like lock in on where he's coming from. You know, you can't do that now. <laughs> okay. So where's this going to take us to then? Big open area. Some more supplies. Come on, give me a flare. Give me a flare. I'm so scared that I'm going to turn around. You know what? Yeah, let's keep that out. I'm scared that I'm going to turn around and it's going to be behind me there. Let me put you here for a second. It's going to be following me and it's going to run straight into that. Grab this. I really could use some more traps too or some more first aid. We'll grab that. I think I hear it. It's very, very faint, but I think I hear it. What else do we have? The car battery there. Don't you do it! No! Oh my god! What kind of movement is that? Oh my god! Oh, could you imagine getting slammed into the ground like... Okay, we got him at least. Did you break it? Oh, you didn't. Nice. Give me that back. Alright, let's grab some health. <laughs> I can't help myself, guys. I don't want to die. I want to keep looking around. Ooh. Okay, he's, he's kind of gone back the other way. <sighs> Jack Mountain Cave. Oh, are we up high now where, where I was kind of looking before? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we're right kind of in the top left area. What? So there are areas... That are not going to be mapped then. I thought that changed. I thought everything had like a, a point of interest now, but apparently not. Or maybe I'm just forgetting that from the past hunts that we've been on. Wait, is that right next to the campsite that we were just next to? Oh, it is. And the big guy is right here. We fire off a few shots. You think that grazed him? I think it just pissed him off. <laughs> what? What is that? Tell me that isn't a... <gasps> it is. Let's see what he says. I heard something that sounded like a receiver. The sounds were repetitive, but I didn't stop trying to code them. Helga, a receiver? Like a radio? There's definitely more going on. Like I say, I've got a feeling there's going to be... <laughs> No. <laughs> Take the picture. That thing has got to die now. <laughs> Not just because of the uh, the human loss of life. But there is a dead doggo. It's got to go down. Wait, this isn't the maze then. Oh, this is like a, like a swamp area then. Maybe I was mistaken with that. So where would that be? Yeah, I was saying it could be kind of more towards the center. I guess so. Keep going across this. Oh, this is a really cool spot. This is so reminiscent. Oh, I wonder if they've done that. I wonder how many of you guys have actually been following the Bigfoot game. Because a while ago, the very, very old map used to just be kind of like an open swamp area. And then just a little bit of like forest area. And that was it. Whoa. Whoa. getting like pockets of bubbles making sounds and it's creeping me out swamp house oh there's gonna be a jump scare in here nope we're good we're good we're good okay actually you know what let's put that right there oh, let's breathe for a second anything in this 
Definitely. Oh, there we go. Shotgun. Okay, we'll take it. Definitely still gets the heart going, though. That's good to know. Nothing left on there. Got the pickaxe. Not really bothered about taking it. Right, what's this? Scout, I'm going to the radio tower. I read the local newspapers that tracks were found there. Helga, we've already been there, Helga. We know where that is. Is he around? <laughs> Just peeking. Yeah, the fact that he can sneak is probably like the biggest surprise for me right now. And that doesn't help. Oh my god! No way! Oh. Get down! Shush! We're okay! Shush! That's absolutely my Achilles heel. I never check for them. Let's heal. Oh shit, okay. He's <laughs> way closer than I thought he was gonna be. Kind of thought he'd be coming from like over here, but no, he's behind. Big old bear. It is good to know too that the rustling is from the wildlife as well. <laughs> I'm never opening my mouth again. Like, I'm not even joking, you guys. I don't know how many times I manifest scary shit like that. From now on, everything goes down. <laughs> even if I have no ammunition, it goes down. I mean, that good juicy steak. You get anything good? Ooh. For a split second then, I really thought we were going to get a vehicle. I really did. I was like, wait, how is this going to work? <laughs> Should we put the, uh, the trap there? That makes the most sense. Inside, please do not do that. Stu don't you, don't you dare. I shouldn't have said anything. Nothing in there. Crowbar, we'll take it. We got a red safe here. And another note. Large mouth, long claws, rather thick fur, taller than a human, has its own Totem. Helga. Helga was putting all the pieces of the puzzle together, but did a no good. 7484. 7484. Oh, yeah. Give me all that good stuff. All right, let's switch that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. you guys see that so that's only the second time i've ever done that where i there he is look at him god that's so cool trying to stay out of line of sight i never knew that was a thing by the way you could stay quiet and it, it kind of Okay. Oh! Don't you dare. Oh my god, that thing's fast. Oh. All right, you want to do this? Oh my god. No. Missed the battery, no! Okay, we got another hunting stand. Oh no, no, no! Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. What else we got? I'm gonna put you there, I'm gonna be able to dance around that if I need to. I didn't even see you. Hey, evidence found. Let's pick you back up. 
We'll take what we can. Some extra ammo. And where we going? Where we going? God, my heart is racing. I thought it was here. It is. Look at him. You broke a fence. Did you guys see that? I can barely see that window. I know you guys can barely see it too. So I'm not going to move. I swear, if I see some eyes... Oh! Come on, come on! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Go, 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 go! ammunition in this. No! Oh my! Where is it? Come on, we can get... Okay, we got a good few hits on that thing there. That was straight out of a horror movie though. Okay. Let's switch it up a little bit. Let's go. Shotgun. See what we can find around this spot. It's a pretty big campsite too. Did I just hear it come back in again? Heal. It's gone to lick his wounds. Exactly what we're doing. Right, where's the lights in this place? There we go. At this point, I don't care. Give me something where I can see. So the next stop should be... Don't you dare. There's no way you were hiding down there. I'm hearing something behind me as well. There should be another stop down here on the left, and then again a little bit further down on the left again. So we're kind of st staying on this road again. What is that popping sound? You know what I might try to do? Try and bamboozle this thing for a second. If we go over here... And then switch to fireworks. Go. Get out of the area. Oh, it's going to be so loud. <laughs> That's so, so loud. I mean, it's kind of fitted right now because <laughs> of the time of year it is, but I was hoping that would bring the creature and I'd hear it do a vocalization or something. But it's smarter than me, so it's not going to do that. It's going to wait. It's going to creep up on me and it's going to pick me up and fling me around. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed it. You know, like I was saying a second ago, this thing's smarter than me. <laughs> Point proved right there. Another shelter. What we got? Another trap? That'll definitely work. Okay. There was another footprint back over at that campsite too that I didn't get, but again, that's good to know. The areas that we can find these things. They are totally random from what I hear. The tree scratches actually are something. Oh, there we go. You see that? You can manifest things if you try hard enough. Some scratches. Footprints. Yeah, but the tree scratches, especially with this kind of... What is that? Like a... <laughs> I know this might sound really stupid, but that's like a camouflage tree. Look at that. Like the, the, the kind of army camouflage. But they're going to be really hard to find. And I do know for a fact that they are completely random. They're found all around the map. So I'm guessing that the footprints are the same. There's no kind of rhyme or reason to them. 
So we want to follow this down again. And then I believe on the left side again, there's going to be another spot that we can turn in. Yeah, there is. I'm finding a lot of stuff that's empty too. Oh, there we go. GPS sensor. I'm finding a lot of stuff that's empty as well. So, I mean, I suppose that's a good thing. There's a lot to be able to be searched. Not everything's going to ha have something in. Okay, we've pretty much gone all the way around the outside now. So, I guess straight through the middle. So, back over to the right. I'm not cutting through the, the woods there. What? Oh, my foot! <gasps> Yep. I absolutely hate that. <laughs> I was just thinking, I wonder if it's on the top of the rocks to my left. I could hear what sounded like stones moving, and then it was on my right, and I had no idea. <laughs> oh my god! Pick it up. Go. Keep moving, keep moving. I should have really thrown one of those GPS trackers on it <laughs> so I know where it is. The Mystic Stones area. Yeah. Oh, look! Shit! Come on in, big guy, come on. Burn! Oh, no, no, no! Don't shoot! No! Oh, my God! Get up! No! No! Okay, so I guess the creature is going to decide <laughs> when we're ending. But as far as Ross Lake is concerned, I actually really like it. There's a few subtle changes, but it definitely feels unique. I'm sure there's areas that we still need to find and things we still need to uncover. So if you do want to see a seven nights in Ross Lake, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything. And I'll see you all in the next one.